These are like anime boobs. Why do I have anime boobs right now? This dress is totally different. They've sent me a completely different dress. Are you kidding me? Hello, my little features. Welcome back to another video. So, as of the time of recording this video right now, I'm getting married in eight weeks. Ask me my stress levels right now. They're pretty high. Ask me how much I'm thinking about all the things that I forgot to think about a year ago when we started planning. Actually, that's a lie. We started planning this wedding way more than a year ago. Thanks, COVID. But I am very much a stressed bride right now who's thinking about weddings a lot. And then I looked at my YouTube channel and I'm like, wow, I did not milk this wedding very much today. <laughs> So today, what we are gonna be doing is, I know what my real wedding dress looks like. I've had ve I've had a lot of wedding dress fittings. My fittings now are complete in terms of the dress shape. Like it's, it's fitted up my waist, but it hasn't been fitted for the length yet. So I'll go once more and then that's it. Wedding dress done, take it home try not to damage it before the wedding. But whenever I was looking for my wedding dress, I'd look at sites like, for example, Yes Style, and I'd be like, how is it possible that these dresses, some of them, I'm not gonna click which ones, some of them look so similar to my own wedding dress, and yet yeah, they're so much cheaper. They are so much cheaper. Like with wedding dresses, you buy the dress, and then you pay for the adjustment, you pay for the veil, you pay for a bunch of extra stuff, and it ends up being scarily expensive by the end of it. And I was kind of like, hmm, I wonder just how how good some of these wedding dresses are. Do they actually look like they look in the pictures here? Why don't I go ahead and find out for you guys? So I am gonna be buying a bunch of wedding dresses from YesStyle today. I'm gonna be picking a bunch of different price ranges and a bunch of different ratings, and we're gonna be trying them on in the second half of this video and see how they look. As always, I will leave a link to all the dresses that I try on today in the comments below. I'm really hoping that we get some good ones so that there's a surprise, like $200 dress that exists that looks incredible. I'm gonna try and find it for you guys today. So these are the best sellers of all time. What I'm gonna do is I actually want to see what is first of all the cheapest dress. What is the cheapest wedding dress I can buy on YesStyle? And it is this dress right here. It's actually on 20% off. It is the Gznoana sleeveless A-line wedding dress and straight away we're a little bit worried. I regret buying it and very very poor. If I could give this no stars I would. And the material of the dress is super poor and doesn't look like the picture at all. So um yeah not hugely enthused based on those reviews. I mean in the pictures it looks literally stunning. It looks so pretty. I'm quite a fan of like a champagne color on a wedding dress but I'm already slightly worried based on the reviews of alone, but we shall give it a go anyway. Let's add it to the bag. So if that's the cheapest one, what is actually the most expensive wedding dress they sell on here? Okay, this it's got 5% off. This is a 1000 pound wedding dress from YesStyle. Honestly, it's like a vintagey kind of style. It's not really my kind of style wedding dress. You get that one picture, that's it. They're not showing us it from any other angle by the looks of it. It does have an inbuilt corset by the looks of it, but I've got to be honest, I'm not about to spend a thousand pounds on a dress that I only see one picture of. I'm sorry, even for a YouTube video, that for me feels a little bit foolish. So what I thought we'd do instead is we would go to the highest rated ones because we've already seen a really low rated one. Now, worryingly, a lot of the highly rated wedding dresses have one star, uh, one review, sorry. They got five stars, but that's based on one review, which doesn't really fill me with confidence. But why don't we just go ahead and check out some of these highly reviewed ones. This one, I think, has a really pretty shape. If it looks anything like this, I will literally be amazed. But I mean, look at that. I mean, that that's very princessy. That is a very princessy wedding dress. However, it's doing something a bit crazy along the top here, which I don't know if I love. It is corseted, but this, this might be a bit wild. I should still buy wedding dresses that I actually would want to wear, you know? This one right here, however, this has two reviews. This is the Angel Bride Sleeveless Lace Detail A-Line Maxi Wedding Dress. It is 66 pounds and two people have reviewed this and said it's better than the photo. And we also have a picture in which they've described it as cute. So this one might not be a write-off. It's got a four and a five star. I always trust a four star review more than a five. I feel like there's more truth in a four star review and it looks quite pretty. It does look really pretty. I think we should give this one a go as well. It's got an interesting back. Let's try this one out. Okay, let's see if they got my size. I'm here clicking small and I've actually realized this is yes style where small is small. So I won't go extra small. I'm just going to keep it as small for now. Okay, I kind of feel like with dresses or with weddings, it's something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. So four feels just about right. Instead of the traditional though, we've gone something cheap, something 
well reviewed. Why don't we go now for something a little bit different? And this one was also in the well-reviewed section. It has two reviews, but neither of them left any details, which is a little worrying. But it's like a short wedding dress. Now, I didn't even look at short wedding dresses, but there's something kind of cute about this short wedding dress. It's a bit unusual. It's not my usual style at all. So I think we should give it a go. Let's go for something a little bit unusual. And then the final one I'm gonna try is, there are some dresses here that I'm like, there's no way, surely, there is no way. They look absolutely stunning. So let me just show you these ones right here. Like, look at that. Is that literally the dress? How can this dress cost that amount of money? The amount of fabric. I don't get it. Is this legit? And then you've got this one right here as well. Same deal. How? Like, look at that. It's so poofy. Surely not. This one is so regal. She's looking like Anne Hathaway. Like, look at that. Look at the big bow at the back. That is beautiful. So how, question mark, is it 172 pounds? I don't get it. And then finally, we've got this one right here. Same brand. And look, look at the... Oh my gosh. I don't know. I gotta try it. I've gotta see if this is legit. I don't know what's going on here. I've just got to know. I've got to know. These signs here are probably just saying polyester, don't stand near a flame. In fact, just don't stand near a bulb in general. You will set on fire. But look at this little detailing. I wanna see, I wanna see if it's legit. It's $300, which was actually way more than I meant to spend on a meme video. And it has no reviews, but I think I'm gonna give it a go. So we've gone for something cheap, something well-reviewed, something different, and a splurge. Now all that's left to do is hope they arrive before my actual wedding. <laughs> Cause stuff on your style does tend to take a while, but I've, been in a wedding dress. I've tried one on now. It's so fun being in them that I just want to do this video and be in a wedding dress again. So let's go ahead and order them and let's wait for them to arrive. One eternity later. So the box has finally arrived. I finally have the wedding dresses. As you can tell, it's been a while. My hair is straight. I'm in a whole different room and... It's Halloween. Well, almost Halloween. It's spooky month. That is how long it took the dresses to arrive, but I'm really excited to try them all on. I kind of forgot everything that I ordered, so I'm gonna be recapping myself as we're trying on the dresses, but I'm really excited to give this a go. I'm also scared, because I do remember one of them saying I regret buying this, but let's see how the wedding dresses look. Oh yes, I got very stung at customs, by the way. Not only did I pay for the dresses, but I also paid a bunch just to collect them from shipping. All the duty taxes, so that was fun. Also, I don't know if you can see, but joining us for this video. Her bed is now just here. Is he some wedding dresses, Baba? <laughs> okay. Here they are. Ooh. Fancy. Okay, so. One. Two. Three. Oh, and this is the big one. I forgot about this. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh, okay, Bean's bed might not work there. But this is the big dress, so we'll save the coolest one for last. Okay, so this was the first dress that we found online. It's the Gozanana. This is the one that someone said I regret buying, and it's the cheapest wedding dress you can buy on the whole VS style. So, let's see how it looks. Okay, so you can kind of tell it's the cheapest dress on YesStyle. First things first is I originally had different pants on, but I had to go change because this dress is sheer. You can't really tell on camera without the pants, but I change pants. I do have pants on. But it is very sheer, so you need to be wearing flesh-colored underwear in order not to see through this dress. The other thing is it does drop low, so bear that in mind. I got the dress in an extra small, and it's still, it's a little bit, it's a little, just, I don't know, it's a bit loose. There's a lot going on. But I I genuinely think almost if you took this bit off, I feel like the dress would look better. I don't know. I feel like this takes it down a peg. This kind of makes the dress suck. I gave it a best shot. I put on um, Ali's birthday shoes because I figured if we add some nice shoes to it, then maybe it would help, but I don't know. <laughs> it's like almost on camera, it looks better than it does do in real life. In real life, it doesn't look great. I'm just, I don't wanna be mean, but it doesn't look great. You could wear it for a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. I think you'd get away with it for that. Otherwise, for me, this dress is a big no, I'm afraid. So cheapest dress on your style. I would go with a commenter who said, I regret buying it. I, I also kind of regret 
regret buying it a little bit, I'm afraid. So this is the second dress. This is the angel bridal dress that had the cool like back scoop cut out a little bit. And this one was really pretty and detailed at the front. So I'm looking forward to giving this a go. There's already way more material and it feels better than the other one. This dress was more expensive. This one was 66 pounds. So it's more than double the price. Oh, okay, that's way glittery than I thought it was. I swear on the picture, it didn't look like diamante. I thought it was like folded material. Those are sequins. This is just straight up sequins. That is very different to what I um, was expecting. Wait, is this the same dress? This dress is totally different. No way have they done this. So this dress has like a bow at the front. It has like buttons at the back. They've sent me a completely different dress. Are you kidding me? Okay, so this is apparently the angel bride dress, but it's not the same dress. I genuinely don't believe that this is the same dress. I want to believe they've made an error, but this this is not the same dress. Okay, let's let's give it a go anyway. Okay, I don't hate this dress. I actually think, I actually think I might like this dress. So one big thing that is, I would say is different from like a, an expensive wedding dress. Usually this matches your skin color. They'll try and pick a mesh though. Not always, but I think the end result would have been nicer on top if that had been the case, but totally understand why if you're buying from the style, you're not gonna get that. But I like this dress. It's a little bit too big for me because usually obviously you get your wedding dresses tailored. So you've got to imagine if it was like, like this tailored, I actually think it's a nice dress. They had this. So stuck here like that and I was just am I a windmill am I one of those toys that you blow and it spins around like I, I don't know why this exists and the other thing I would do is uh, if you got it tailored this band would then become tight and I think it would look miles better but I genuinely don't hate this dress the trail is long the trail is cool you've got detailing the whole way down the dress and check this out look at the end of the top layer like it's really detailed oh okay <laughs> Maybe we ignore that, but it's fine. But this, this is nice detailing at the end of your trail and it looks really good. It genuinely looks really good. There's a lot of loose threads going on that you'd have to get rid of. It has three layers. So you've got this layer. Wait, it's got four layers. Then it's got this and then it's got another one of these. Then you've got your dress itself. Oh, and then you've got another under that. No wonder I'm so freaking warm. It's like got five or six layers. Honestly, that's why you get so much poof. The poof value of this dress is pretty good. And I don't know, I, I like this dress. I do like this dress. I think for 66 pounds, even though it's not the dress they meant to send me, it's the dress that I deserve apparently. It's a dress that I just got sent. I think this is a nice wedding dress. For 66 pounds, look how much fabric is here. It may be that like, kind of fabric, but there's so much of it. It just goes on and on and on. I think this is a good wedding dress. I'm gonna give this one a big tick. We're gonna move on to the next dress, which is the shorter wedding dress. It's a little bit of a different style. I'm pretty sure I've got really bad bruises on my legs right now, so this should be fun. I bang into things all the time. But this is by the same company. This is the Angel Bride again. And I specifically went for this shorter dress for a little bit of a different style. It has like um, a corset at the back as well. Puff sleeves. Yeah, let's, uh, let's give this one a go and see how it looks. Okay, so one advantage of this dress is I do feel like a little doll. It's like a doll dress. It has doll energy about it. It's very scratchy, very itchy right now, which isn't ideal. The puff sleeves, I'm not usually a puff sleeve kind of girl. I don't like them. I don't vibe with them. We don't, we're not friends. And I feel the same way in this dress. I just, I don't get them. I just, I don't like them. I don't like puff sleeves, I'm afraid. So this dress does have a corset. It's one of the only dresses that we've tried on that is corseted, but you couldn't tight lace. It's not like super strong, but it is corseted. It is also meant to fasten at the top here as well. However, um, oh, oh, hello. I wondered where that went. When it arrived, the eyelet was broken. So I was safety pinning the dress to the top here, but obviously that has just come out. But yeah, the eyelet was broken. So it is meant to be tied at the top here, but I obviously could not do that. The other thing about this dress that's really, really weird, and I apologize in advance for what you're about to see, but the boob area is weird. One, it's really high. So like, it feels like my boobs are like here, like I'm in Bridgerton, but two, <laughs> why is there so much of it? Look how much it goes out. Like, the, these are like anime boobs. Why do I have anime boobs right now? I don't know, it just, 
it's no, that's just really odd. It's like there's a whole material cup thing. They're just like right here. I don't know. I just find that really, really weird. The mesh is kind of messy as well. Yeah, and this bit's not sewn onto the actual, and if you can tell, the mesh isn't sewn onto this mesh. It's like its own separate one and it like peels back where it's separate so it's definitely very cheaply made which i think we expected it's 61 pounds so it's actually a little bit cheaper than the one that i tried on last time but obviously there's way less material here it does have a lot of poof there's the original layer and then you've got one netting layer two netting layer you've got the stiffer layer that gives you like the shape and then you've got another netting layer under that as well so there's a lot of layers to it if you like layers i guess that's good news and it does end up in a, a good shape shape so if you're looking for this it works i'd say it's very fairy i feel like a little fairy in it but a very uncomfortable fairy that wants to take the fairy dress off because it's itchy it is very very itchy i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'm not a short wedding dress fan like for myself i think on other people it's great if it's your vibe that's perfect but for me i'm a little bit more of a long trail kind of lover so i knew i wasn't going to be in love with this dress but it <sighs> Anime boobs. Anime boobs are the, the probably the big advantage with this dress if you want anime boobs. Okay, which brings us on to our final dress, which I'm actually really excited about. So this was where most of the budget went. This was the splurge dress right here. So this is the Fioridi strapless wedding ball gown dress. This is £277. So this was an expensive dress, but I'm really, really excited for this one. I don't know. I don't know if my hopes are too high, uh, but we've already had one win so far. So, I mean, it looks really pretty already. Look at that. I think this one could be a winner. I'm excited about this one. Okay. It also is corseted. Okay, bro. Does interestingly have the exact same label as the uh, the other dresses. <laughs> no, it's a different brand on YesStyle, but let's try this one on. This is our final dress. This is the big, the big budget dress. Will it look as good on as it looks on the website? Let's find out. Okay, so this one was a lot harder to get on than the others, like a lot harder. I had to put it over my head. Ali had to help me. I've got like red marks from like trying to reach over and grab stuff or trying to pull it over my head. It was not easy. I'm very tired. If you ever want to work out, just try on wedding dresses for a day. Cause trust me, it's difficult. It's difficult business. It really is. This dress, it's nowhere near as poofy as it looks on the picture. That is the biggest letdown, I would say. I think it poofs here, like it poofs out from that, but it doesn't continue. Whereas on the dress, it looks kind of more like it would do this but it doesn't so that is probably the biggest letdown it is corseted at the back but the material they give you to tie it is very flimsy it's basically this it, it's the same as this so again you couldn't really tight lace because you're going to end up ripping it it does come with a bunch of extra stuff that the other doesn't like there's a band inside so you don't have to wear a bra you can band this it's got a little a little fasten so you can do things that way the other thing though that is a bit of a letdown let me see if i can show you guys okay yeah yeah look that, my friends, is just a straight up hole where the zip at the back of the dress doesn't meet the corset. If this was on like the 20 pounds dress, I could kind of get it. But this dress is almost 300 pounds. I feel like even if you're like paying for something from YesStyle, you would still expect not to have a hole in the back, which this does, uh, which is really frustrating. Lengthwise, all of these dresses I've worn the same heels. They're kind of like, I would say like three to four inch heels, maybe three. I'm 5'8". I've not had any issues with any of them needing to get any length taken off. So they're definitely a lot shorter than a traditional wedding dress in which you usually need to get quite a lot of length taken off the end because obviously they're made for somebody for any height. You probably won't have to actually cut anything off the ends if you're wearing heels and you're about my height. Otherwise, you might have to cut off a little bit. I had really high hopes for this one, like really high hopes. And I'm just a bit disappointed. I would also need to try and like, I don't think you could iron this. I think it would stick to the iron. That's the kind of material it is. But these should be lying flat like so. But they've got bent in the box and I, I don't know how to flatten those. I do not know how you'd get those flat again without damaging the dress. And the other thing is, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is the inner material of the dress, but it actually comes up and over. Like there's a bone here, but you can't pull the material of the, the fabric up over the bone. So as a result, you just get a permanently exposed interior part of the dress. Which just this shouldn't do, like a well-made dress won't do that. So I think all in all, this was the one I was the most excited for, but I am probably a little bit disappointed. I would actually rank it number two of all the wedding dresses that I tried on. I think number one is the one that is wrong. It's the wrong wedding dress, but it genuinely is a nice wedding dress, which is the highest rated one on YesStyle, but I didn't get the one in the picture. 
picture. I don't understand, but that would be the best dress. Number two, I would say is this dress right here. I do feel very glamorous in it. It, it does make me feel like, I don't know, like an ice queen maybe, but I just think for the price, it's actually probably the biggest letdown, but it's still nicer than the other dresses. Number three, I would say would be the short dress. It's more of a doll dress, but I did feel like a doll, so success. Also anime boobs. The worst one was probably the cheapest one. I mean, it was like 28 pounds, which is super cheap for the amount of material you're getting, but it's it's just not a nice dress and it's really see-through. Let me know what you thought of all the dresses in today's video. Which one was your favorite? Which one were you actually pleasantly surprised by? Let me know in the comments below. It has made me extra excited for wearing my wedding dress because I know I like that one, so that's a big bonus. But also a lot of the issues that I found with these, like the holes in the back, the material being itchy and stuff, I know my own wedding dress doesn't have, which is you know, good. <laughs> and if you are looking to order a wedding dress from Yesdal, then I hope that today's video has been helpful. I would genuinely think dress two is really, really nice. And with a bit of um, editing, with a little bit of altering and tailoring, it could be a really, really nice dress. So if you have enjoyed this video, I would really, really appreciate a like. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you're new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe so you can see my little face popping up in your feed, offering you more weird and bizarre content. And if you have any other weird and bizarre content you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.